Uh, earlier, I spoke with Japan's foreign minister about the fractured relationship and what it's going to take to mend it. I think it's important to keep the people-to-people -people exchange uh, when the government's uh, having problem. Unfortunately, uh, the Korean visitor to Japan, the number is going down. But uh, we hope to keep this uh, strong people-to-people -people exchange. Yeah, it, it's, it's difficult to, when you have points of tension, for example, you have organizers of Japan's 2020 Olympic Games saying that they will not ban the controversial rising sun flag. You know, this is a flag that stirs up very negative emotions uh, among people in South Korea. Would you ask the Olympic Organizing Committee in Japan to reconsider that? No. Um, it's an official flag for, flag for the Japan's uh, Maritime Self-Defense Force, and it's widely recognized. Uh, many places or many countries like the uh, state of Arizona in the United States or the country like North Macedonia uh, use the similar flags. Uh, there are certain people in South Korea who try to make uh, some anti-Japan sentiment, but uh, the flag itself uh, is a widely recognized flag, and there's nothing wrong with it. Do you think nationalism is going to get in the way of any sort of solution here? Important thing is there's a healthy nationalism, but uh, there are those who wanted to exploit the nationalism for other purpose. And uh, bilateral relationship between Japan and South Korea is very important, not just about the security or not just about the business. So I think it's our job as a politician to create a bridge between South Korea and Japan, even though if there is a uh, unhealthy nationalism, I think we need to overcome mm. that.